The 40th anniversary of Earth Day is right around the corner, and while climate change has taken a back seat to health care and the economy, it remains an important issue for the White House. Our Kaylee Hartung caught up with a group of young professionals who are trying to get Washington's intention, and she joins me now. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Nancy. Thanks so much. So over a billion people worldwide are expected to participate in Earth Day activities, and here in Washington, the young team behind the Earth Day Network is hoping that you do more than just recycle this year. Broad constituencies are affected by climate change. Climate change is what we're focusing on this year for the 40th anniversary of Earth Day. As Congress struggles with climate change legislation, the Earth Day Network will hold a rally on the National Mall April 25th. The idea to let Congress know there are a lot of people out there who believe it's important to get something done. This issue, and, and specifically if we want to talk legislatively, uh, a climate bill is a jobs bill, is a national securities bill, and it is a, a bill that will ensure that future generations have, a, have a, an environment to, to thrive in. I'm with the Earth Day Network. They feel that time is running out. So if we don't see something in 2010, this is an issue that people should be voting on in the midterm elections. This is something that should be passed and dealt with in 2012, but now is the time for people to come together. Nate Beyer is one of Earth Day Network's directors, and he's running it like a campaign. No surprise there, he was part of the Obama campaign in 2008. We've got a great young team here that's that's doing a lot of work. Everyone's wearing a lot of hats. Um, so there are a lot and of- And pins. And pins, yes, absolutely, everywhere they go. Can we give you a button about the Earth Day rally? Thank it's gonna be you. a lot of fun. Thank you, I like yeah. you wanna put a button on? This is what a grassroots movement looks like. The Earth Day Network is relying on the energy of its young staffers to get its message out. We're having a big rally to call for Melissa Byrne leads the effort on the ground. She knows it won't be easy, but she's out there every day. At noon on April 25th, Sunday. One thing I love about campaigns is you have an election day and the polls close at 7 p.m., depending on what state you're in. And so for us, our polls close at noon on April 25th. And so we have to make sure our work is done by that day. There's no extensions. The team in the field stays focused on the climate rally, but back in the office, Nate is thinking long term. Earth Day happens, and we want people wherever they are, wherever they're seeing this interview, to, to, to figure out what's going on in their community. Go to earthday.org. A lot of events are going to be listed there, and, and involve yourselves in what is really a global movement. Earth Day Network really is taking it global. In addition to the climate rally, they're connecting people in nearly 200 countries for Earth and, Day activities. And actually, we're very lucky because we have the man in charge of the climate rally right here with us today. He's Nate Beyer, and he uh, he's working feverishly to get set for this event, which is on April 25th here on the National Mall in Washington. And you've got quite an all-star lineup. Yeah, we're excited about it. Thanks for having me on, guys. I appreciate it. On April 25th, Sunday at 11 a.m., going to 7 p.m., we have a, a great um, a rally plan. This will be the biggest climate rally of all time, and we have speakers from many different communities that represent everyone that has a stake in this issue, as well as some fantastic uh, live performances. Yeah, you've got some big name stars. Tell yeah, us who it's going to be. We got Sting, uh, John Legend, The Roots, Passion Pit. Bob Weir and, and, and many more. So it's well, going to be I'm sure we'll be, be getting all of them on Washington Unplugged <laughs> that week, yeah. right? <laughs> sure, I can, can you, can you work do. on that for yeah, us? Absolutely, That's impressive. Absolutely. Uh, how did you manage to get uh, folks like that to, to participate in the event? Well, the, the, the speakers have all shown a, a commitment to the environment and represent, a, again, constituencies that, that really have something at stake. We think that's everyone. Mm -hmm. um, so we have speakers from green business, from business, from labor, from faith, um, from youth, um, obviously from from environmental groups as well. The the the, the live uh, performers um, have also shown and have been environmental stewards. Um, Sting, for example, has the Rainforest Foundation, which has made a real impact in deforestation in um, in Brazil and around the world. After the day is over. What else are you doing to get the word out? We are, with this 40th anniversary, with the climate rally, we want to make Earth Day basically a state of the union for the environment, uh, for the movement, uh, as an opportunity to every year uh, say, this is um, what we've done over the, the course of the year, this is where we failed, this is where we succeeded, and this is how we're driving it forward. So we want to give people the opportunity to say what their plans are, and then push them um, come the 26th. Mm -hmm. And Nate, I mean, all of these events on April 25th, the, the goal is to get Congress's attention. Have, do you feel like you've gotten their attention already? 
feel like the the activities that and the actions that environmental groups have been taking over the last couple of months around preparing for Earth Day definitely have gotten the attention of, of folks on the Hill, um, specifically in their in their districts or in their states. We think that this event, the Climate Rally, uh, April 25th, you can find out more at EarthDay.org. Uh, this moment will will send a message. Um, it's it's going to be big and it's going to represent again that community um, that broad swath of of, of of the nation that can't be ignored. Mm -hmm. How do you feel though about where climate change legislation stands right now? Because it's really been pushed to the back burner. There are a number of issues that Congress wants to tackle and then they've got their midterm elections coming up. So it looks like they may not be able to address this issue okay. for many months. It's an uphill battle for sure. And, and like we said in, in, in the piece that, that Kaylee filmed with us, um, this is a jobs bill. This is a national security bill, uh, and this is a this is a, a bill that has the potential to provide for our children and our children's children. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, show that, and we want to make sure that this does get back on the agenda. And if it doesn't happen before the midterms, then that's a that's that's an issue that we need to come up that needs to come up after the midterms. Got it. Well, Nate Byer, good luck Thanks with the uh, climate rally, Appreciate April twenty fifth here on the Mall. I uh, hope it'll be a, a great day for you, sunny day, and a great lineup. And uh, Kaylee, thanks for bringing the story to us. Appreciate it.